Welcome back to the Thursday Download. I'm your host, Rinshai84. This week, we're going to be downloading Color Picker. It is, this program is available for Windows. You can get this program by navigating your browser to www.byalexv.com. Once on the site, you uh, will navigate your way over to the sidebar here and click on Programming. When you've clicked on Programming, the box will drop down. You can click on Color Picker will navigate you to the color picker main site. Color picker is basically exactly what it says. You can select color colors once the program's installed by using different methods and it'll tell you what the color is, either in the RGB or hexadecimal uh, format. And you can use it for several different things. You can use it for color correction, or you can just use it to find out a uh, exact color of a color you really like. And this program can be downloaded by clicking this link here. As you can see here, it's only 262K, which is very, very small. It's under a megabyte. And it's version 1.0. I've been using this program since it first came out in 2000. And I haven't uh, needed to use anything else. <coughs> you can go ahead and just save it to your desktop. Downloads very quickly. Just go ahead and open it up. It's just got one little file here when you download it. And go ahead and double click and open it. Allow it to run. Now this little pop up here says that it does not contain the VB6 runtimes. VB6 is Visual Basic 6. If you're running XP or Vista or Windows 7, the VB6 runtimes are already installed on your computer and you don't have to worry about this. But if for some reason you're running anything other than that, then you can just go to here and actually download the VB6 runtimes. This program is also available as a Visual C++ add-in or as a standalone file only, as the colorpicker.exe file. <coughs> and as you can see here, the these sizes do vary, but still under a megabyte. We're going to go ahead and click OK on this, and this brings you to the Color Picker Setup screen. Click OK. We'll just let it go ahead and install wherever it wants to. Click the little computer. Click Continue. And it was that quick. It goes very, very quickly. We'll go ahead and We'll open it up and here's the program switch to the desktop here this is the program it's very very simple uh, you can either do the click on the windows picker and actually pick like you would like if you were picking your desktop background color and once you select we'll select the red here click OK and it puts it back here that shows you what it'll look like. Well, let's say now you want to see what a text color would look like on that background. As you can see, the background is selected here. Click on text. We'll go back to the window picker. We'll select uh, this really neon green color. We'll click OK. And that's what it would look like together. Once you've tested it, and if you see that you like it, you can actually go back in, select that red, click OK, and it'll give you the RGB the C++ and the HTML code of what the actual color is. And all you have to do is you can cl click either copy or send and what it'll do is when you click copy it'll actually just copy this and you can just paste it into whatever you need it to be in whether it be your picture editor or your HTML. Send is for if you have a program already open like a uh, picture editing software and it will actually send that uh, color code directly to that this works about 98 percent of the time and uh, I still prefer to use the copy more than the send but either one works <coughs> you can also use the eyedropper which is I think the funnest part about this application because you can see here once I clicked on it turn to your mouse into crosshairs you then can move it over whatever you want and it changes the little box 
here, the preview box, to whatever color you're actually over. As you can see here, there are tons of different colors inside of something. Let's say we really like this dark kind of blue up here. We want to know what color it exactly is. So we click on it, and now that changed our background color to that. This is the HTML code for that. So if I wanted to create a web page with that background color, all I would have to do is take that HTML code and put it into my HTML, and then I would have that color. Same goes if I wanted to use it for a picture background or something like that. I could just use the RGB Marco uh, code up here and still get the same color. This little uh, checkbox here, when it's checked, it stays on top of all the programs. So we could open back up our web browser and even though we're actually on the web browser, as you can see with me highlighting things, this still stays stop most. But once it's unclicked, it then f goes under the program like anything else would. So it's always a good idea if you're working with something and you want to see what the color is to always keep that set at topmost. And uh, as you can see here it does have a small help file with it. It's not really a whole lot. But it does. it basically tells you the uh, basics of the program itself. Just a tiny bit of information. You can find more information on the site than you can inside of this. It's a, it's a great little small program. I enjoy using it. I've used it for years. I've used it in my own website design and such. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you go download it and let me know what you think. And uh, if there's any other programs that you uh, would like me to check out, just let me know. And uh, I'll go check them out. Maybe uh, you'll see them here on the Thursday download. This has been another episode of the Thursday Download. I'm your host, Renshaw84, and I hope you come back next week for another episode. Thanks for watching.